Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this is the lab five of instrumentation environments, and uh, we intend to build an ammeter from galvanometer. We know that galvanometer is only a current sensing device, so in order to have an ammeter from galvanometer, we need to uh, connect a low value of resistance in parallel with the galvanometer. We'll be considering a single range ammeter and multi range ammeter. And we need to we will be considering two variants that is separate shunt and the Arton shunt for the multi range. First of all, we are going to discuss the uh, single range ammeter using the galvanometer. The figure here shows a low value of resistance represented as RS shunt resistance connected in parallel with the galvanometer. The internal resistance of galvanometer is represented as RM. So a low value of resistor is connected in parallel with the galvanometer having internal resistance rm if it is the total value of the current that is entering at this particular point the im is the full scale deflection current which will be responsible for the full scale deflection over the dial of the galvanometer the rest of the current that is it minus im will be flowing through this low value of shunt that is rs since we have connected this low value of resistor in parallel with the galvanometer so we we can say that the voltage appearing across this uh, galvanometer is same as the voltage appearing across the resistor rs as these two are in parallel so we can write it as the voltage appearing across the shunt is equal to the voltage appearing across the movement or the galvanometer so putting in the values uh, the current flowing through the shunt is is whereas is is equal to it minus im so is rs is equal to the voltage appearing across the galvanometer which is im rm so rearranging we will come up with the value of or the expression for rs so this rs is equal to im rm divided by it minus im here im is the full scale deflection current of the galvanometer rm is the internal resistance so from the previous experiments we know the values of im we know the value of rm this im is ifst so we know its value rm we have already determined what will be the value of it this it is the value of the current for which you are going to design the ammeter so the value of rs is completely dependent upon the value of the current for which you are designing an ammeter so uh, for if you are asked to build an ammeter for the value it is equal to 10 milliampere then you will just put in the values of im rm 10 uh, milliampere as it and pre known value of im you will determine the value of rs so in this way uh, we are going to determine the uh, value of shunt resistance for the value of current for which this ammeter is going to be designed. So this was the discussion for the uh, single range ammeter which we intend to uh, uh, form from galvanometer. The other one is the multi range and multi range in case of multi range we have two variants separate and Ayrton shunt. In case of separate shunt we uh, are effectively uh, using what we are doing in the single range ammeter so there are different well different resistors represented as r1 r2 r3 and they are connected uh, as similar as we did for the uh, single range ammeter so we have connected r1 r2 and r3 uh, in, in the similar way as we did for the uh, single range ammeter this the value of r1 r2 and r3 will also be dependent uh, upon the values of the current we are taking into consideration for ranges a b and c you will see that at the end of the uh, lab manual uh, that is experiment number five it is given that you are required to uh, form the multi-range uh, ammeter for the ranges equal to four milliampere this is the value of it and the second one is 10 milliampere and the third one is 12 milli ampere so this is what uh, this is what going to determine the value of r1 r2 and r3 for this a uh, value of r1 you can take it as 4 for uh, determining the value of r2 you can take it as 10 and for determining the value of r3 you can take 
it as 12 million pair so in this way you are going to uh, determine or form the multi range uh, m meter using the galvanometer with separate shunts so the, these three are the separate shunts that you are taking into consideration and the values are in correspondence with the uh, currents or the range of the current for which you are uh, designing this ammeter. The third one is Artin shunt. Uh, we have seen that in case of separate shunt, we uh, have to switch or move the switch from A to B to C. So there is a possibility that while trans while ha while uh, having the transition from point A to point B. There is possibility that maximum current flows through the galvanometer which can damage the uh, needle movement. So uh, in order to solve this there is an alternative uh, which is uh, as the Artan shunt. Uh, in this case you can see that the galvanometer is connected in parallel with the three values of three resistors represented as R1, R2 and R3. These R1, R2 and R3 are, are in correspondence with the ranges 1, 2 and 3. So. Um, in order to do the analysis, you need to take few things into account for Artan shunt. For example, if you are taking into account the uh, point number one, uh, in order to do the analysis, you will see that this Rm is in parallel with three resistors R1, R2 and R3. So you will take Rs that is the total shunt resistance as R1 plus R2 and R3. Uh, while the value of R Rm here will be same as the value of the effective value of Rm. While considering the point number 2, you will take this into account that if this is point number 2, then you will see that this Rm dash will be uh, in effective equal to Rm plus R1 while this Rs is equal to R2 and R3. Similar will be the case for the point 3. When you will move to point 3, you will see that this Rm dash for this analysis will be equal to Rm plus R1 plus R2 while this R3 uh, is as Rs. So, so uh, keeping this basic in mind you can come up with the uh, expressions uh, containing the uh, currents that is IT for different ranges. So for this particular uh, thing you are required to design for 5 milliampere. 10 milliampere and 15 milliampere. The whole analysis that is re that is related to Ayrton shunt is also given in the lab manual so you can easily go through it. So what we are supposed to do is we are going to uh, fundamentally determine the values of resistors all over uh, in correspondence with the ranges that have already been given. So after making these after determining these values you are going to make this circuit in the software that is uh, available to you. You can use the Proteus or PS5 whatever uh, is available and you can cross verify the value of the current. For example if you have uh, designed this single range ammeter for a value of 10 milliampere so this IT is the uh, required range of the current. Using the values of the resistor that you have determined and uh, making this circuit in the uh, software you will come to know the exact value to which this can measure. So for example if it comes out to be 9.9 uh, .9 after the whole analysis then at the end you will do the error that is you require you are required to form the um, single range m meter for 10 milliampere however you manage to achieve 9.9 .9. so depending upon these two values you will do the analysis uh, that is error analysis similar will be the uh, analysis for the separate shunt and as well as the Artan shunt thank you so very much